Hey guys, Jeff the Maintenance Man. In one of my videos I was putting in a light ballast, this is the old one. And I saved it because I wanted time, I mean that was days ago, maybe even a week ago. But I want to save it, I want to open it up and... And uh, I'm smelling it right now, if you don't, if you can't see that. Um, let's see, hold on just a second, let's make sure. How many dusties on there, okay. So anyway, <clears throat> let's um... Always curious of, you know, why do these things go, oh, this is coming apart quite easy. Why do these things go bad and what's inside of them that goes bad and what might have seemed to cause it and, ah, dang, I ain't, okay, it's going to be a capacitor. Oh, God, I know that smell. All right, some plastic cover. Make sure. I don't know if this is energized or not, but yep, there it is right there. I can see it already. See how it's bulged up and vented. So something on one of the one of the lamps. Um, there's a little fuse there. There's a coil. That's not a transformer, despite what you think. It's actually a coil. It's a double coil. Got coil, 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 coil. So, see how it's, it's labeled L, L3, L2. And the, you might say, yeah, that's line one, line two, but it's usually T1, T2, or something like that if it's transformer. So this is a uh, coil, kind of, kind of like this. See how that's L1, L2, L3. So there's three coils inside this. Um. And this one actually says T on it. So this could possibly be a small transformer uh, to up the voltage because it's only got one loop and then it's got three loops. I don't, I'm not sure what that does. I'm electronic savvy, but I'm not like that good. Looks like that fuse is blown. Let's see. I'm just out of curiosity, guys. <sighs> like what's inside episode be using the Klein Tools MM400 to do a continuity test here. That's all we need. Alright, cool. Let's see if we got continuity on this sucker. No. Uh, yeah, no. Nope. No continuity. Yeah, whatever. So the fuse is blown. So Capacitor going bad, I obviously cause a fuse to blow, probably. These transistors, they're always labeled Q. Um, this one looks like a, yeah, it's got capacitor juice all over it. These are D13007, so they're like triacs or something. Yeah, just a bunch of passive components. All these components, capacitors, resistors, diodes, and stuff are called passive components. Um, so, yeah. Looks like a capacitor goes bad and then it blows the fuse. I can't really see. Okay, that diode for a minute looked kind of weird, but... Well, well, well. This one can have dual light bulbs on it. Just a couple of capacitors like these can be put into here and then another cord. And you can run another set of lights with these, it looks like. So, that's very curious. I mean, when things go bad like that. There's your capacitor juices, right? Yeah. yeah. Ugh. Electro lights. People will say, Ooh, it's battery acid. No, it's just like salt water kind of yuckiness, chemical or something. But yeah, that's what goes bad on them. So, I mean, if you don't know, I mean, I, I'm one of the curious types. I'm like, well, why did it go bad? You know, in four years it's been up there. Well, a 10 cent capacitor, same as the uh, LED bulbs. So, like I said, it's the driver that goes bad. It's not the bulb in most cases or the driver goes bad that causes the bulb to go bad 
So it's trash now. Jeff the maintenance man, that's what's inside. Y'all have a good one.